Kalypso sing Kaiso. And shake my Kalypso claim. I born to sing Kaiso. Good morning and welcome back to the Now Morning Show, your Friday edition. And we're a little feisty this morning because we've had some interesting conversations and we will continue to do that as we grow closer and closer to the greatest show on earth. Now, a big part of Carnival continues to be the sound of Carnival, which we've been giving to you in many ways. You've gotten some pan from the Junior Panorama. You've gotten some Calypso in terms of tents being open. But soon enough, we will hear even more and it's some interesting conversations because every year, as much as they like to talk about Isoka not good, they like to talk about Kaisu not being as prevalent. It, and you know, the thing about it is that I think the focus is oftentimes on urban radio stations and we have an expectation of them to be able to push the culture. But the reality is they have their mandate and they have their mission. So if you want to find the Kaiso, you have to go where the Kaiso is, this right? This is what I'm saying. I mean, that's, I think that's the biggest part of the problem for me is that people expect things that aren't going to come from where you expect it to come from. And the thing is, the fact that we have, for example, the Kaiso tent running for as long as it does, 30 years, it means that it works. Of course. It means that it well, is patronized. It means that whether you well, Effectively or at optimum is not what I'm saying. <laughs> it works. It works. And and we need to again give Jackie's jacket. If you want that, you go directly there to it. And there's so many other tents, most of which will come through the TDT now morning show to let you know when they open and anything. And, the thing and you is have the opportunity yeah, to connect. We've been making a point of giving you that information, but also I want to commend the different organizations, the Pantron Bagels, the Two Cools, because they've upped their marketing campaign so that mm -hmm. people now know a little bit more about how to be able to access some of these events. So, you know, don't be afraid to go and get the information. Don't be afraid to tune in to Talk City 91.1 FM. We are playing the new Calypso as well because, of course, a big part of the challenge is you only hear the songs when you're reaching the tent. Um, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, and I had this conversation just the other day with somebody because, you know, they were saying, I don't find out they playing enough of the new Calypso. I want to hear more new Calypso. And I said, well, we could only play the ones that we have. Right? Because a lot of times, artists might be still working on their music up until opening day. They might, right. they might have the opportunity, or sometimes the finances, to go in and record the song. Right. Right? So oftentimes, the radio stations can't play it in advance because we don't have it. So it's not entirely our fault. Right. You know what I mean? I could safely say, well, for example... Or nor is it the fault of the artist, as you rightfully say. Because yeah, the, there's the, circumstances. The, the thing about tense is that that was exactly the purpose, to create the space for them to give the music. And that was the only way that you could have gotten this for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So there are persons who absolutely we have not created the space, the funds, or anything to do other than the stage. You're making complete sense. Look at you, agreeing <laughs> with me. No. <laughs> Sometimes you make sense too. Ah, and okay, love that, that for us. Okay. But one of the things that's always interesting to me is that in the Calypso tent, you have the opportunity to meet new people every single time. As in, you get to meet, you can meet a new Calypsonian for right. the very first time. You can meet somebody who might have been doing music for a long time and you just didn't know that they were able to do this. And a lot of people have been testing the waters and seeing how they can be a part of the Calypso industry as well. And this morning, we're actually going to feature one of them on the show. Now, I know she's been involved in music for quite some time and you may remember her, you may not remember her. Uh, you would have met her as a soca artist. She was working with a band called Homefront back in the day. But now she has a new sobriquet, which is Fire Tender. Mm -hmm. And she is uh, a part of the Calypso Queen competition. So this morning, I want to welcome to the Now Morning Show, Miss Jillian Moore, a.k.a. Fire, Fire Tender. Tender. Good, morning, Good morning, Jillian. Good morning. Good morning. Come, come across. And, and we are far away from us here. You want to come and talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, Jillian? Excellent. Thanks so much for having me on. I find you should be a little bit closer, Jillian, because, I mean, this is the time for me to... This is an opportunity. Look, she's chipping in. <laughs> an opportunity for me to say thank you. I remember, as a matter of fact, this morning when we were having the conversation as to the, the way in which I would have known you mm -hmm. to jumpstart it, to push, push start it, oh. and start... Let me set the record running. straight. I'm sorry, that was Homefront. That was not me. I know, <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. You were so, part of Homefront. I was, I was, um, I was a founding member. Right. We had, we had a, I did a song with them called Give Yourself a Chance, mm -hmm. which Let I co-wrote. Uh, 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 yeah. Free so yourself. People still, uh, you know, express their... their, um, their that they were inspired by that, so that's wonderful. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that's the thing, just like we were saying before, even if you didn't necessarily sing on the vocals for that one, you had a hand in making sure that iconic part of my childhood is It was there. great to be part of that vibe. Eh, eh. So, oh, you're coming to jump out yourself in the kidney queens this year, girl? Well, it's a long story. <laughs> 
as you, as you mentioned, I've been doing music for decades. Mm -hmm. um, I am a student at the master's program at University of Trinidad and Tobago, oh, look at this. studying the carnival arts. Mm -hmm. And that so inspired me, you know, to really look at the, the history. We learned so much about this legacy of, of Calypso, Pan, and Carnival. Um, and part of our courses was um, was to, to write Calypso. Mm. And that kind of got my gears going. Yeah. And that inspired me to, to come, on to, come out into the Calypso world. Tell me a little bit about the Fire Tender title, though. Fire is self-explanatory, but still, what was the thought behind the name? OK, Fire Tender is a... Uh, is is protecting the, the the calypso flame yes right love it so i'm tending to the the flame of kaisu uh fire tender is uh is a fancy sailor it's inspired by the fancy sailor who is um stoking the fire in the furnace of the ship making sure that things are going good get them the history now get them things <laughs> i love it Mm -hmm. I mean, you mentioned the, the stoking of the flame and making sure that it continues. I mean, in learning about the history, do you also learn about the ebb and flow of how at, at the Calypso has been rising, falling in between and all that stuff? You know, people often are afraid that it's going down, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, it won't die. <clears throat> you know, people risk their lives, lost their lives to make sure that the carnival goes forward. And, if, and no matter where carnival goes in the world, and all its um, manifestations, when it's, you know, this remains the root mm -hmm. of Calypso as we know it. And it is up to us to make sure that it endures. All right, well, um, can you do us a favor and give us a little taste of what's to come in the oh, Queen's competition? I would love to. I, I just got to mention, mm -hmm. I'm part of the Queen's. I'm also in the Calypso Review this year. Eh, eh. And, uh, I mean, this year it's a tribute to the Baron. He's part of the tent, nice. along with Sugar Aloes, Trinidad Rio, so many greats. It's such an honor. And, uh, you know, to be part of the Queen's as well, some of our participants in the review, Lisa Roberts and Singing Sonia, are also in, in the, the Queen's Club. Right, right, right. Nice. So it's that interesting. You're studying, you're studying the history of Calypso and Carnival, and now you're part of that history and that legacy by being a part yeah. of the Calypso review as well. Such an honor. Such an honor, indeed. Gillian, <laughs> let me go. La day! Come to sing Kaisu and stake my calypso claim. I born to sing Kaisu, so learn my calypso name. I'm the fire tender, a culture defender, with songs you will remember. So check my agenda, uh huh. Just like chalky, I'll spring from the root. Like pretender. Fire tender coming sweet So I come in song to give them a song I come in song I come in high to show them the fire coming down I come in sweet to give them the heat I come in song What I wanted joke I don't take it lightly is a gift from the long time folk I'll take up the mantle I pray I could handle I will light up my candle and follow example uh -huh. just like shorty I spring from the root like the terror I sing with the truth like the birdie Always hit the spot. They go say, fire tender coming hot. So I come in song to give them a song. I come in song. I come in high to show them the fire coming song. I come in sweet to give them the 
the heat. 